there's something outside my door that might change my life forever. Let's go. My new generator is here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, it's Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. We are now in the basement. This is where the magic's gonna happen. I'm gonna back up my whole house today off this beautiful baby right here. This is a differentiator. I've wanted one of these for years at this point, and this is the one I wanted, the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Two, I'm gonna show you something that you didn't see coming and I'm literally, I'm not just gonna back up job sites and customer homes, I'm gonna back up my whole house. Let's first see what's in the box, see how I got it connected to the grid, see how I did it safely and I'm gonna clue you in on all the steps and a bunch of use cases start to finish. All right, let's see what's in the box. All right, there's the charge cord, I love it. Nice, 12 volt DC charge cord. So you can charge it off your car or camper. Okay, 12 volt DC power supply, kind of a standard for electronics. Snack pack. And DIY instructions for non-MC4 connector solar panels. It's nice, it's got a nice little visual there. Love it. Extend your warranty by up to 12 months. Thank you, EcoFlow. Here's why you need solar panels. A little brochure. You can purchase those from EcoFlow as well. A warranty card. Ah, and one of my favorite places to go, first and foremost, when you're talking about a heavy duty piece of energy infrastructure, is the user manual. Let's rip it open and see what it has to say for safety. So these are the things that my electrician brain picked out. So right off the bat, it's a battery and not a gas generator. So we don't have to worry about off-gassing and hazardous fumes. The protections built into this baby are over voltage protection, overload, over temperature, short circuit, low temperature, low voltage, and over current. It's loaded up with safety. Good job, EcoFlow. Operating temps, discharge temperature, 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 113. Now notice, this is one place where there's a potential detraction over and above a gas generator because the operating temps, minimums and maximums do come into play. And like we always say about batteries, 68 to 86 F, treat it like a human and it'll take good care of you. It'll improve its performance and extend its runtime. I love it. 19 pithy notes on safety instructions. This thing is so easy to operate. Basically, don't get it wet and don't violate anything that's clearly stated in the manual. Two things that jump right off the page at me here is the clarity and quality of the information and images as presented. This is not rocket science. It's incredibly down to earth. And if you're from the Midwest, that is a high compliment. All right, let's juice it up all the way. As a general rule, the power inputs are on the back here above the wheels and the power outputs are on the front. Oh, there it goes. We're juiced up. 10 days of running power. Oh, shows you input, output, total watts of each. I love it. Well, let's take a look at the front of the unit, some of the main functions and the display. Here we've got Input, output measured in watts. Fast charge, USB-A, and standard USB-A. We've got the main on-off power button. Two USB-C ports. We've got the AC on-off. This is your heavy-duty plug for RVs. That says recreational vehicle use only. 30 amp, 240 volt. And then you've got four 20 amp receptacles. It's very generous. EcoFlow advertises empty to full, 2.7 hours of charge. That was accurate. I'm gonna fire a vacuum cleaner off this thing and see what happens. Push the AC on. Here goes. Okay, all right. It's graphing the load on both the app 
This becomes my newest, most precise watt meter. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and see what happens. All right, both the app and the LCD screen have responded almost instantaneously. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now let's take a look at what's inside the DC ports. DC ports are special because there's no inverting or rectification process, so it's high efficiency. Top, Anderson port. Next, car port. Next, 12 volt DC standard power, on off switch, RJ45, internet of things, pairing, and standby mode. Instruction manual is well done, lays it all out for you. Oh, wait, 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 what's that little booger down here? Oh my gosh! That's the Infinity AC port. That's for Ego Flow's ATS with integrated critical loads. Handles up to 10 circuits. I cannot wait to get my hands on that. Let's go and back up the whole home. So now you're asking the question, how the heck does a 120 volt power source power the entire home without running extension cords absolutely everywhere? I've got a trick for that. A second battery and the double voltage hub plus generator cord for an extra 170 bucks which is nothing you can connect two EcoFlow Delta Pro batteries together to create not a 120 but a 240 volt power source this is necessary if you're gonna back up your whole home let's check it out for those of you who have been around the channel for a while, you know this is the part of the video where it starts getting dark outside because we're 10 hours into the job, but no, no, no. Check this out. The EcoFlow Double Voltage Energy Hub. This thing is it's so slick and simple and it's well ID'd. I love that. I'm gonna open the infinity port, orient my plug, insert, click, so I know it's there. Bring my other one. To battery number two. Repeat the process. Insert, click, doesn't pull out. All right, my double voltage energy hub is indicating that the AC is powered. Beautiful. Time to plug in the gen cord. With both batteries on and my double voltage hub in the on position, I'm ready to plug this in and test it out. I'm quite excited. But before we do that, let me break down the numbers for you. If I was gonna install an affixed to building energy system, like the Evervolt LG Tesla Powerwall, I'd be in it for about 15 to $22,000. So you've got utility interconnection agreements, you've got permits, you've got penetrations through the building, exterior disconnects, you've got design costs, you've got accessory materials, you've got automatic transfers, which it's not a small deal. I'm happy to do that for you. But this solution is a DIY friendly project. We've got our generator inlet, our mechanical interlock, I'll show you in a second. If you're interested in how we did that, check out this video here. And EcoFlow has a 5% discount on their already reduced price on their website. All in this project is gonna cost me less than half than the low end of what I quoted you on the affixed battery. And it's DIY friendly. Now let's try it. It's a twist lock. So the sixteenth of a turn to the right, you'll feel it grab, won't pull out. That's good to go. Open our panel. Here's the mechanical interlock that prevents the main breaker and the generator inlet breaker from being both on simultaneously. That prevents dangerous back feed to the grid. Here goes my main breaker to the off position. The mechanical interlock lock has dropped my generator breaker and everything came back up that's phenomenal i love it you can hear the fans kick on to keep the batteries cool because they're heavy loads connected let's check the app and the lcd to see how much energy we're drawing what the calcs are there it is okay output power in the app 865 watts on joel's number one battery fluctuating with the loads of the house. Top number is input power, which is zero, because we're running exclusively off-grid right now. Bottom number is 580 output watts. 
Battery number two is showing 338 output watts. I'm gonna turn on a big load and see what happens. One, two, three, four. All important, yes, five. Six, that's a big one. That's a big one, let's go. Leave that baby running. Put the tax on it. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11. Man, and we're not even taxing this thing. We're not even, we're not even putting the hurt on it. Let's go, let's go, let's rack it up. 12. 13, Fulbright, hello. All the entertainment and convenience of a modern home. Good job, Sayla. How about an electric dryer? Boom, boom, 800. This one quick kicked into high gear. 3,000 running watts on both babies. The heat element is cooking in that dryer. The fans have kicked to a higher speed. We're down to one hour of runtime. But this is the heaviest residential load, right up there with air conditioning, electric cooking, such as ovens and cooktops that you would be operating. I'm, I'm quite pleased, I'm quite pleased. Thanks to the generosity of EcoFlow, my entire house, including my dryer, is off-grid on these two batteries right now. For more Tech Forward videos like this and the future of energy, subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make some real money.